your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. So we look at an air temperature of 76 degrees and a dew point value almost the same at 75. That gives us a 97% relative humidity out there. And once again this morning, it feels a little bit humid outside. We have uh, an east wind blowing now, and that's beneficial. Yesterday, the wind somewhat variable out of the south. Uh, today, I think we'll watch that easterly wind reinforce itself and establish itself. And even though sometimes the winds might be a little bit light and variable this afternoon, I think in general, we'll be seeing that easterly wind flow uh, pretty, pretty strong as we head into the overnight tonight and through tomorrow, even though this morning it's fairly light at about five to six. Through the morning hours, we'll have a slightest little chance of a shower near the coast. Most of the stuff will be out in Gulf waters. I'm not even putting the shower chance in by 9 a.m. By 12 noon, we'll have about a 20% chance of seeing a few showers start to build along the interstate corridor and then kind of build in intensity as we get into the 3 p.m. hour. We'll start to watch some of those showers late in the afternoon build their way back toward coastline and we'll look for about a 40% chance of that occurring as we head into the 7 p.m. hour. Not a whole lot of activity across the region right now. Everything's very quiet. We had a few scattered showers in inland areas during the overnight, but that has since dissipated. And right now we're looking at the nearest showers down by Fort Myers, really off the coast. So everything quiet for your morning commute. Really don't see much in the way of an issue there. A stalled frontal boundary located just to the north will eventually decay away over the next few days. A general wind out of the west will be replaced today by that easterly wind flow as a high pressure ridge builds just to our north. As that happens, that easterly wind will tend to collide with our local sea breeze and that local sea breeze and the easterly wind will bring up a line of showers along the spine of the state, which will gradually drift back in this direction. You'll remember yesterday I told you that most of the shower activity would be over on the other coast and that's what it was yesterday. But today things much different. East wind building, west moving storms, and then good weekend rain chances as moisture aloft increases. The rainfall future cast for today shows accumulations greatest in our inland counties. That's where the biggest storms will build as the collision of sea breezes occurs in this location. But then that general east wind across the state will push the storms back toward the coast. So everybody gets a chance at seeing a little bit of rainfall today and for the next several days. Again, in the tropics, everything quiet. This one area off the coast of Africa possible development over 10 days, uh, five days ahead rather, but the chance is only at about 10%. So more than likely that won't be a big bother. And certainly it's just off the coast of Africa. So there are no issues for us as we head into the next five days. We're still watching Lane. Lane is still classified as a category three hurricane. Its forecast track remains basically unaltered. It will continue to move north, uh, decreasing in intensity until it becomes a Category 2 storm by this afternoon, and then hopefully start to make its westerly turn as it moves uh, off the island chain and out into the open waters. Again, heavy rainfall and high seas, the biggest problem with this storm. Southwest wind light becoming more easterly this afternoon. Sea breeze building into that east wind that we'll see over the course of the weekend. Two foot seas, smooth conditions on Bay and Inland waters. About a 50% chance of showers today, 60% tomorrow, 50% on Sunday with temperatures near 90 and feels like temperatures up around 100. Then over the course of the week ahead, we'll look for about a 40 to 50% chance of rain.